Hey friends, it's April Holly Smith and I am here to do my weekly shopping list with the ads and what I wanted to do is show you my list, how it starts out before I actually look at the ads. These are some staple things that I know I'm going to need for the week. So that's what I'm starting off as my baseline. And then I'm going to look at the ads next and see what we have uh, on good sale that I'm interested in buying. Okay, friends, I got the Aldi's ad. And as you can see, I've looked at it and I've already started to circle some stuff. Some stuff that's a good. This is a great price for ham. I don't know that I'm in the market for a ham yet. I need a ham for Christmas, but I'm in denial. I just, ham is not my favorite as far as this way in this form. So I don't know. I'm not ready to get that yet. But as usual, all these does not disappoint in the produce department. I will be getting another bag of the mandarin oranges. This is a better price than it was last week. I think it was $2.99 and I got one. And let me tell you, they were delicious. So I will be getting another one of these. Broccoli crowns, 99 cents. I'm going to get probably two or three of these because these are super simple to cook and that's a great price. We all know I love my baby carrots. Usually when it comes to the baby carrots, I get like 10 bags, like no kidding. Uh, they're great for my freezer meals. I think I'm going to maybe limit myself to five. <gasps> Hi, Lily. Are you having a good time? And then eggs are actually listed on sale. They were only 10 cents more, I think, uh, a dozen last week, but it's kind of nice to actually know because it's one of the things I go in and get, and it's kind of like always sketchy what the cost is going to be. So on this page, I just feel like there's kind of, it's all the same stuff that's been on sale. I'm going to get one of the Crescent Rolls because I said I was going to get one last week and I didn't, I didn't make on my list. But that mashed potatoes, $1.39, that's the same price it's been since before Thanksgiving, so it's not exciting. I have one of those for No Spent January, and I have one that's open that I'm currently using. I'm No, honey, you have to keep your shirt on. I This green beans, it's a pound, but it's $1.40. What? No. Uh, I will be getting a can of green beans, and I can get three of them almost for that price. So, um broth is it's actually a pretty decent deal but i don't know nothing i need nothing i need here just nothing is exciting for me this this makes me annoyed um this is egg noodles and i've been getting them every week at save a lot for 99 cents and they're a dollar 29 they're only a 10 cents off so i don't feel like these are a great deal so this jasmine rice is a better than usual deal. Generally jasmine rice is a pretty decent deal here at Aldi's and it is on sale. It just, I'm not in the market for $5 worth of rice. It's just not my thing right now. I don't entertain in the same way that other people do. And this, these next two pages are essentially all this fancy entertaining stuff. Um, when, when I have people over, we don't need a cheese board. We don't need macarons. Sometimes we need some potato chips, but, um, like this, I would make this if I was going to do it and it would be like a whole, I can get a whole pound of popcorn for 50 cents and, um, you know, the sugar in the K row is next to nothing. And now I like to put nuts in it. So sometimes that runs into four or five dollars, but, um, we can eat it like 600 times, pounds and pounds. So just none of this stuff I'm in the market for. Just none. Um, alcohol. I don't need any of that. I'm not a drinker. My family's not big drinkers at all. So I'm going to show you that. But because I know wine is a very popular thing. Cheese, as we all have heard before, is not my thing because I have an allergy to whey and casein. So kind of none of this stuff. Oh, $8 for this. Man, that's so much money for some sugar-coated popcorn. Ouch. Okay, baking deals. Now here's some stuff I'm finally interested in parchment paper. I don't think this is a fantastic price, but I think I'm going to get some because parchment paper is like the magical baking stuff that makes everything great. Um, it makes your cookies not stick. Just wonderful. Um, mini, mini ones, 
good price. Dollar forty nine. This is usually dollar seventy nine, so that's a good price. I have these in the freezer already, so I don't need any. Got like four of these hanging around for pie time again. Same price as it's been for a couple weeks. I'm stocked up on it. This is a good price. This is on sale. Um, all of this stuff is kind of like what it's been on. And I'm just not in the market for like this type of candies. Although I might end up buying one of these because, I don't know, it's a holiday thing. These are very prevalent. So, um, this is stuff that is not food. And I don't generally buy non-food items at Aldi. So, I'm going to show them to you. So that you can see some of this stuff. This is not a bad price, though. I don't know how long it'll last, but um, so on this page, I'm just gonna tell you that I, while I don't buy food stuff or non-food things from Aldi's, some of these prices are not that great. Uh, for this, for this, and for this, I know for a fact you can go to Target and get them for the same price, if not cheaper. Um, these are a whole dollar cheaper at Target. Gilligan and O'Malley. Look in your ladies activewear section and ladies intimates because I put out 5,000 pairs of these like every day. And all this stuff too, just eh, eh. So the last page, I feel like this telescope isn't a bad thing as a starter gift for a child. This, why, why God, why, why all these, why? This is just going to be like the most annoying present ever. So, if you are looking to get back at somebody, you can buy this for their kids. But do yourself a favor. Oh man, spare yourself. That's a good deal. It's a sketchbook. It looks like a coloring book, but it's not. And this is actually porcelain. Tell me how many, these are all going to get dropped and be broken glass. No thanks. So, that is my Aldi's wrap up. Okay, so this is the Save-A-Lot ad, and let me tell you, Save-A-Lot is like quickly becoming my favorite store. It just seems to have really good stuff all the time. Hold on, I gotta go check so, on that. So, I'm going to be getting some of this 39 cents a pound fresh green cabbage, and I'm going to chop it up. Did you get Santa? Yeah! And I'm going to fry this as a side dish for probably two meals this week. And I plan to spend about a dollar on this. Um, maybe a dollar ten. But, um, grapefruit bag. I'm going to get another one of these. Actually, I think I might be planning on getting two of these. Because they're so good and that's just nice and cheap. I'm totally going to get some of this. It's a dollar. It's bone in. Um, which isn't that great. So if it's this kind of pork chop, that's great. But then there's this weird other one that has a bone in the middle that I don't like. So, uh, I have, I'm going to budget $15 for these to get three of them because this will cover a bunch of no spend January meals. If it's the good kind of chops, if it's the sketchy chops, I'm going to back away from that deal. Um, no, no, I don't need any of this stuff down here. Santa Claus! Sorry, we're we're playing. It's it's active playtime. So, uh, I am gonna get two of these Cool Whips because they're that's the best sale we, there is right now, and there's no substitute for Cool Whip. So these are the other uh, things that are on sale. Uh, yep. Um, look, 
here's these 99 cent egg noodles this is the everyday low price I always thought these were on sale that's why I've been buying them but this is their everyday price so I'm not gonna get these at all these because they're they're like 30 cents cheaper uh yes yes so uh, I'm gonna get one of those I'm also gonna get one of these honey I need you to back up you're in the light yes we're gonna get that we're gonna get one of these brown and serve rolls and I'm gonna use it for two meals you want me to have two of them? Yeah. I They're good, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to bake six at a time. I think there's more in the fridge. There is some more in the fridge, but not much. Uh, so I'm going to bake six at a time. So there's two meals worth out of that. So that I can get my money's worth. They were a hit at Thanksgiving. So this is a good price. Um, I'm just, I got some last week. So I don't need any of that. And then of course this is this America's Choice stuff. None of this is on sale. It's all regular price. You have to monkey this. That's all right. I'll come and unmonkey in a minute. They have their fresh meat deals. Okay, so this is the back page of the Save a Lot ad, and you know that I seem to find the best stuff here. This is on sale also at Aldi's, and it is sixty-nine cents. So this is a better price at Aldi's. Heads up if you're interested in that. Kind of not really interested in any of this, but I'm hoping that because this is on sale, there will be some markdown because these make great fajitas, and I really want to do that again. This is an okay price, but these are again bone in, and I really like the boneless ones better. So that is the wrap up for this. All this stuff is cheaper at all these essentially. Um, this is the same price I think as all these. No, it's a dollar fifty at all these because I checked. This is a dollar seventy nine at all these. Um, these are a dollar seventy nine at all these as well. But I have these in the freezer already, so I don't need them. So that is the wrap up for Save a Lot for this week. Lots of good deals here. I'm gonna spend probably half of my grocery budget in this spot. Not only because of the markdown meat, but because there's just other good stuff on sale. So this is my uh, shopping list for the week of December 11th through 17th. I will actually shop on the 9th and the 10th. So my Duma's run is pretty standard. I'm going to get my weekly consumption of 4 pounds of sausage, $1.99 a pound, $8. 1 pound of Italian sausage, also $1.99, $2. Chris's lunch meat, I'm budgeting $6. Chip Chop, which is different than his lunch meat. I'm going to be trying a new chip chop ham casserole that uh, all Latoya Bjorkman suggested so that's on my list I'm going to do $20 in marked down meat which is going to leave me in the $60 range $10 in vegetables $5 or $50 okay so for save a lot I'm going to get two of the grapefruits it's going to be $3 the cabbage, which is going to be for a side dish for at least two days. The egg noodles. The Cool Whip, which I'm going to put one in the freezer. And I'm probably going to make some pumpkin stuff to go with it because it's so good. Chops, the $15 for that $0.99 cents a pound deal. The brown and serve rolls, which I'm going to split between two meals, baking six um, for each. So that's going to leave me with $25. I'm going to go to Acme and get coffee, which is $4.99. It's going to leave me $20. I'll be there in a minute. Over to my Aldi's. I have my bread, eggs, Nutty Buddy, Swiss roll, which is all my regular weekly stuff. Eggs are for breakfast, bread, and all this is for Chris's lunch. I'm going to finally do that stocking up on broth. I'm going to get five of the bag, one-pound bags of carrots. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a freezer meal or two with... Those chops and maybe a markdown meat. Crescent rolls. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with these, but I am going to make a meal where we have these because the kids have been asking for them. Three of the broccoli crowns because fresh vegetables is fresh vegetables and that's cheap. Two bags of the mandarin oranges for $5. So it's going to put me around $17.60. I'm going to have $2.40 left. 
Now I have something on here and I, I'm going to insert a photo of this. But Giant Eagle runs like a special for having their card and signed up for these e-advantage deals. And it's a Blistex chapstick for 25 cents and that will get me to walk in the store. I have budgeted 30 cents after tax so I'm going to have $2.10 left over. And here is my wish list, pasta sauce and pasta, uh, enough for maybe one time this week and then all of my no spend Januarys. So essentially if this does not work out, or if this does not work out, I will shuttle some of that money into this, which will be delicious. So that is my wrap up for my budget or for my shopping list. My shopping list for the week of December 11th through 17th. I know, I'm coming. Go get Santa for me. I'm going to uh, wrap up now. So if you like this, don't forget to hit the big old like. Click subscribe so that you can keep up with my videos. I post at least three times a week. I do my shopping list. I do my grocery haul and shop along. And then I do meal plan Mondays, which is my meal plan with the stuff that I made a list from, that I shopped and got, so that you can see kind of the whole process. I feel like if you don't see what I'm working with, it's really difficult to know if I'm getting good deals or not, or if they're comparable to the deals in your area. So, don't forget that subscribe button to stay on the journey and see what's happening each week with our budget for Chow. Alright, see you later. Bye!